Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I'm continuing my playthrough of the SNES classic, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and now return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. And we're back. We have recovered the Master Sword, and if you get the... As long as you don't have the short-term memory problems like I do. You'll remember that uh, right before we entered the Tower of Hera, we found a monument that said, Come back with the Master Sword. So we are going to backtrack <laughs> to that point and return with Master Sword. Anon Jr., help! The soldiers are coming to the sanctuary! Eee! Come at me now. Ha! fastest way out of here it doesn't matter how fast you get out of here uh, the end results are gonna be the same although it is nice that the fog is gone and there was one of these guys too that you could actually uh, pull on and do stuff with there we go haha -ha! I think it was actually one of these guys something about the ones near here. Oh. Alright. That's not helping anybody. Let's, uh, let's get out of the forest. If I can remember the way out of the forest. Hmm. Oh. I'm already full on bombs. Okay. <clears throat> let's go to Sanctuary. Then we'll go back to the top of Death Mountain. Okay, that noise is annoying. Yeah, just a smidge. All right. Uh, I'm not in a rush, in particular, for Rupee. Oh, oh, no, I needed to be here so I can get to the sanctuary, and then we're going to go back to the top of the mountain, and then we'll go to the castle. Anon Jr., you're a second too late. No matter how long it took you, you were destined to be a second too late. I have failed. Zelda, the soldiers have abducted her. They have taken her to the castle. You must find her before the wizard works his magic, please. Your only hope. Help us, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh wait, wrong franchise. Uh, I mean, we got the disappearing body. That, that is that not copyright infringement or something? Like, I don't know. Sorry, I couldn't help myself there. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we got full life. We're all set on just about everything. We got mu I, I was going to say we have enough money, but you never have enough money. I mean, you can have as much money as the game carries, and nobody's ever going to be confusing that with uh, enough money. <laughs> Is this enough money of what you speak? I think. Yeah, that means I can finally nab those guys too. Uh, without wasting magic points, that is. Because you can use the uh, you, you can use the magic powder to turn those guys into something you can actually kill. Uh, as opposed to their natural state. Alright, let's get back to the mountaintop. I know, I know, I should be mugging for all his money, but I'm um, two-thirds of the way to max money. Uh, a little better than two-thirds of the way to max money. The only thing I don't want is those guys to cause me problems. I think I'm getting to know this path a little too well. How many times have I traveled it now? More than a few. Alright. And out this way. Yeah, I don't think uh yeah, all that does is turn those guys into rock. Temporarily. Oh, and now I'm not even doing that much. Because the boulders 
Alright, dodge. I'm dodging. I'm weaving. I'll grab one of the Fey on my way back. But first, let's make our way up here. Let's go ahead and get the mirror ready. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the pearl. Oh. Oh, thank you. So now, you'll notice we are no longer, uh... Oh, come on. You didn't change your shape? You aren't just a normal guy, are you? Wow, you didn't change shape? You got the moon pearl, huh? Sometimes, huh? Alright. Let's get that off. Let's switch to... Something that doesn't waste ammo. Alright, stay there, friend. We still got other stuff to do up here when we get a chance. Uh, but first... Oh, I needed the good book. That's what I need. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of Ether. Ether Ore. Da -da -da -da. This is the Ether Medallion. Its magic controls the upper atmosphere and polar wind. Watch your magic meter. So now we've got Ether. It's kind of like the ice rod on steroids. It will absolutely deep freeze every enemy on screen at a very high magic cost. Uh, if you remember, we saw another monument like this over in the desert, but we're not at a point where we can do something about that just yet. And the mountain on the other side, where, uh... Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I needed... You know what? I, I was going to, uh... I was gonna go grab another ferry. But I think... I'm getting close to the point where I'm going to have to start using more magic than I have with ether and uh, some of the other stuff we're going to get in the ice rod. Um, and I may want to get a bottle of the magic potion and just keep two fairies. That's still two lives. Well, lives. They'll bring you back when you die twice. Um, but it also means I'm going to be going through a lot more magic than I have been. So you know what? I, I think I'll, I think I'll go get a uh, green potion. No. Hi, friends. Yeah, uh, I'll go get a green potion. Uh, it's going to take a little more. But. I know where we can get one for free. And it's not that far from where we're at. And I like free. I mean, yes, I know. I've almost maxed out the rupees again. I'm at, yeah, very close to, a startlingly close to 700 rupees. And that's, that's for somebody who, uh, <laughs> spent a lot of rupees on, uh, uh, on increasing capacity. Matter of fact, since I'm here, I might as well shake this tree down for... A fistful of rupees and a few rupees more. No, oh, no, that's the lumberjack. We'll be back to see those guys again before too long. Uh oh. Hi guys. Oh. Was that the apples? That was the apples. There we go. For some strange reason the boomerangs don't pick up apples. Uh map. Map. I'd have to go all the way to Zora Falls to get the uh, 
to get it. Oh, that's not bad. Quick dash across there. I can swim across the bridge. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's do that. Let's do that. Like I said, this isn't a speed run, so it's not like I it's not like I gotta go, oh no! I'm gonna lose six seconds off of my max time. I I'm not too worried about time. I'm not too fussed about it. Uh at some point in the fairly near future, there is a secret that I do want to show off when we get to it too. Um Nintendo Power ran a contest. And the winner of the contest got a secret room in the game. And so we'll 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 get there to show that off before this is all done. But it's not gonna be anytime soon. Oh. I don't know what I was hoping for, but we just need to head up this way. I actually want to say that there was a uh, shortcut, too. I just don't like people that can electrocute me lying around. There we go. What I need to do is I need to come in here, speak to the wonderful lady in the wishing well. Where... Won't you throw something in? Throw an item. What I want is my empty bottle. There we go. Press the Y button. For a second, I thought she was going to come back. Hello there, did you drop this? Yes. I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. There we go. She filled your bottle with the medicine of magic. To get such a potion free is quite a bargain. You ain't kidding. So there we go. We, we got two fairies who will restore my life and one potion of magic, which should make uh, some of this a little bit easier. Now, oh. hi, friend. Oh. oh, come on. Are you kidding me? There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where the, uh... I'm trying to remember where the... I thought there was a shortcut back to the castle, to be honest. I don't know why I'm collecting these. My magic meter's already full. It's like collecting rupees after you've hit the uh, the limit, but I can't help myself. <sighs> okay. Just to give you an idea uh, of what we were saving, too. Uh, if you were to go in here... 60 rupees. I know, I know. I'm a cheapskate. Uh, I mean, I got the money that I should really be toting around. Uh, some bottles of the, the red. Uh, not the red, the blue. The red is life, the green is magic. The blue is the one that restores both. Let's jump back in here, and somewhere off to this side, there we go. There is the way up, there's a cave with fairies down there. There is the cemetery, oh, wrong button. Um, oh, I wanted to be on the other side anyway. Because I need to get into the castle, and I'm going to have to do that through the main gate. Okay. Hi, friend. Gamma. I was hoping for money, but I'll take it. I don't know why I'm bothering 
these guys. There we go. I think it's a little easier. Be even easier once we get the top level sword. Although, I, I should mention that even when you get the, the fourth level sword, you never... The bolt that you shoot out never does more than it does now. It always does what your first level sword did. Alright. Into the castle. I was hoping for uh, something better than that, but okay. Uh, there's two, three, four, six floors. But we might still be able to make that happen. Oh, no, because I, I still got to get to the... Okay. <laughs> Short-term memory, something or other. I, I did, I, I promise, I did my research. I, I did. Hmm. Drink that before it gets too cold. Okay. Into the dungeon. Actually, it's not much of a dungeon at this point. <laughs> we want to do is we want to get over this way and uh, somewhere was a door out oh. oh, maybe that was down on the first floor oh yeah uh, the other balcony crikey my memory huh I needed to get up on that walkway there. Hi, friend. Eternal vigilance. There we go. This is the door I was looking for. Where you get to walk the walkways around the outer perimeter of the castle, and more importantly, We've got this bolt oh, that we couldn't really do anything about until now. <laughs> you need the Master Sword to break that. Um, we could have found that earlier if we were exploring as if we didn't know where we were going. Uh, all right. I couldn't remember if there was something in there or not. I, I don't think it was. Okay. Yep. We're, we're about to hit a very pretty slog. Uh, so here's the question. Can I at least get to the dude in 10 minutes? Yeah, I think I can get to the dude in 10 minutes. Hi. Hi, friend. Yeah. Good thing we've uh, upgraded, huh? Oh, he did get in and hit the bum. All right. That's okay. I got something that'll fix your little red wagon. And now we got our key. all I was there. I remember this being very straightforward. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, this should be very straightforward. Okay. A lot of those guys. Ow! Ow! Bum! Mm. Okay. 
Okay, there's the key. I know a couple of these had hearts. Oh! Which I'm gonna need more than I thought I would. That's because technically I should be lighting up all these torches. Is that the one I just picked up? No, that's not the one I just picked up. Alright. Might be less of a cheapskate. There we go. It's almost a different dungeon. That dungeon door was the one that I came through. Hi, friend. I was hoping... ...for... ...a bit of heart. But that is the door that I want, right? Yes, that is the door that I want. And I would like to have some sort of weapon... <laughs> uh, ...a handier weapon handy. Because, yeah, I thought there was somebody. And you got a rupee, and you got a rupee. Is that it? That's it. Um, yeah, okay, so we're back up to the fourth floor again. Did I just click on that? I just did click on that. Okay. Back up the stairs. Kind of wish one of those guys had something I could use a heart or two right about now. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's uh, mine the gap. That came in handy. That came in even more handy. Okay. Oh. That magic meter. All right. Ow. There we go. Problem solved. And on full health. I gotta remember I got those uh, arrows available too. have to say. Listen well, Anon Jr. Even with the Master Sword, you cannot inflict physical harm on the wizard. You must find a way to return his own evil magic power to him. Didn't the sword say something about reflecting evil power? Hmm. I appear to be assembling some clues. <laughs> Sorry. Clues are subtle. These are not. Alright. Weren't there one of these that I could, uh... No. Okay. It's always worth testing those, too. There we go. Ah, nothing spamming the sword can't fix. start doing those, I do want to... Ow! Bum. Oh, that's right. And... <laughs> there we go. Alright, and I think there were some more. Alright. Chance to top off those arrows and bombs. 
Make sure you get all your hearts in a row. Ow! God, he doesn't stay stunned for long. Oh, I did two of you guys with a lot less trouble. That's all I get is a measly rupee. I didn't need that, but I'll take it. That wasn't what I meant to do, but I'll take it. Stay there, friend. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to do that either. Alright. to get into some serious trouble. So before I go too much further, I am going to take a short break at the most su suspenseful part I can. Well, that was fun. And I hope you had fun too. Next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow is a live stream day. Current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow me there. You'll get notified when I go live. And you'll be able to chat along as we record the next six episodes. You'll also be able to join along for some of the other stuff I do on Twitch. It's all up there on the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel here. It really helps out. If you click the bell, you get notified of all the other stuff that goes up on the channel as well. Like Coffee Craft Livestream Archives, Future Games Revisited Episodes, and uh, various other stuff that strikes my fancy. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, quips, queries, quotes, comments, complaints, or quibbles, leave them in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.